For this video, I want to demonstrate the way I use one microphone to record a drum kit. I'm using a blue Snowball Ice, and this technique came about because I'm someone who likes to do a lot of recording projects. I like it to be easy and something I can do at home, and I don't have the money to go into a studio, and I don't have access to a ton of equipment, and it's not within the budget. So this is a real DIY, very straightforward, simple technique. You're not going to get professional quality drum sounds on this, obviously. Uh, because it's one microphone, you're not going to get uh, the ability to do stereo separation. But I think you'll find that it's reasonable, and if it, if it allows you to record your projects and make music and not have to have that impediment of the equipment or the studio time, then you're going to have more fun making music, which is the way I see it there. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works. Basically, I'll play through a track with no effects on it at all, and then I'll show you how I affect a track using compressor and EQ to get it to a more reasonable and full drum sound. So in that second clip there, hopefully you noticed a couple of things. One, I'm using GarageBand. GarageBand is like the DIY musician's best friend. It's automatically loaded on a Mac and it's very easy to use. I'm also using a lot of the presets within the plugins. So with Compressor, there's a whole slew of drum presets and uh, there's one I like to use, which is like the tight drum kit one or whatever. And then you can adjust as needed for the gain or the threshold or the rate or whatever else you want to do for your compressor. But it gives you a nice baseline. Same is true for EQ. There's a lot of presets for that. What I've done is developed kind of one that works for me and the drum sound that I like. And then depending on the individual recording, I might tweak it here and there to get something different out of it, like a splashier sound or a rounder sound or something, depending on the song. So it's very useful and you know, saving this kind of stuff makes it very consistent and saves you time as you're doing more recordings. I should mention I put the microphone about three feet away from the kit, kind of pointing up and a little bit at the snare. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and have a great day.